Welcome back to the movie trivia showdown. It's the team league, and I'm Christian Harlow. I am Mark Ellison. Christian, boy, what a matchup today. Tough beat versus six degrees. One team is bringing home the bank, and the other one gets kicked out to Oxnard. Well, look, this team, both these teams here have had a serious feud. You look at both. It all started. Brianne Chandler has had a just complete change of persona. She came out, as we, as you can see in that clip there, in the, the, the grease outfit. She's doing the, the cheering with her partner, mm -hmm. Stacey Howard. Then, out of nowhere, she just, during her match with Perry Nemiroff, when she challenged her, she starts screaming at the audience. She oh! starts screaming Whoa! at, at our, 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 our one of our, uh, our editors here, Thad. That he, she's screaming at everyone. Poor Thad! And then you, you see that Stacey Howard goes and joins her, too, beats Jonathan Voico. They've both beaten a team. That's they, right. They've both, they're one and two, Mark. The, and it's a hard, with all the teams in the league, it's hard to come back from that. That's right, and Tough Beats looking for redemption. They started out with one of the more incredible matches, one of the best debuts we've ever seen. The Tough Beats rookie card is worth a lot of money. All their other cards down the toilet in volume. They're looking for restoration here today. It's very true. They've had a very rough 2017. Um, and they're looking to come back because the Ultimate Schmodown Tournament is right around the corner. It's right around the proverbial right. corner. We have, we have Collider Collision coming up on July 7th, and then in, in August you've got the tournament, and these teams are hoping to still be around to try to participate in those. So we're going to hear from both Six Degrees and from Tough Beats right now. We're finally back. We had a strong, a strong start there, but Very a little bit of a rough run but it's time for us to get back on that damn set and for us to kind of maintain what we started. This is that breakup match. I love this guy right here. I don't Likewise. want to break up. We want to keep playing and we want to have fun. We're going to make it happen today. Now, before the two gorgeous and dominant women, Stacey Howard and Breanne Chandler that I represent come in here, allow me to say a few things for you all and get you all to understand some things. Now, Tough Beats is going to have to break up. It's just as simple as that. I feel like really eager to win this because you know what? When Miss Movies beat my teammate and Stacey guessed her way to her victory, look, I'm looking for a little revenge and uh, I think today's the day. Each member of Six Degrees has already individually beat each member of Tough Beats, Breanne, beat Perry, Stacy beat Jonathan. So this is simple. And what does that mean? Is that Six Degrees will go on into the ultimate showdown and therefore earn a right at the tag team titles. Because it's only right that Six Degrees has it. And also for everyone who's been wondering when is Jay getting back into this movie trivia showdown ring, don't worry, it's coming very soon. And I got a few surprises in store as well. And there's only two things you can do about it, and that's nothing and deal with it, damn it. Tough beats, and we're back in a big way. We can speak for ourselves, we don't need Jay. Six degrees separated from victory. Scary Perry and Vulture Boy Johnny B. What up? So watch out, Stacey. And Miss Movies, don't let me interrupt your little study group bees. You think that villains get to have all the fun, but let me know how this heel tastes when we've won. Don't be fooled by my size and my sweet face. I'm here to crush it and take home first place. They say I'm never off. You better get on this never off hype train before it's gone. No longer baby faced. We're the rising stars. We're the ones to watch. We're here to set the bar. You think you're safe with your musicals too? Well, sit back and watch what we're about to do. Uh, as you see, obviously, with Tough Beats, they are having, they, they like to do their raps. Performance art on both yep. teams, Chris. Well, they put so much effort into the preparation of their, their performances. How about you just study some movie trivia? Well, they, obviously, Tough Beats doesn't want to break up. And then you see Jay Washington, who's saying, they, look, the, the fact that, that Tough Beats has already been beaten twice by his team. Uh -huh. Tough Beats is going to be split up, that they are going to be in Smona. And I like the fact that it, Jay Washington just said his team's just here to play, and they don't even need to do the talking. All right, well, Mark, let's go to the tail of the tape. There you go. You've got six degrees. Strengths are 90s movies, musicals, and elaborate entrances. Uh -huh. 
And then you have Tough Beats, who has comic book movies, new releases, and elaborate entrances. And amateur rap battling. I cannot wait to get this match going. Who do you got in this? Oh, man, this is a tough one. I mean, I, you'd, have to, you'd have to go with Six Degrees right now because they have a win over both Tough Beats. You're still working that mummy mug after all these weeks, huh? I wasn't showing. Oh, I am Can't showing it. Can't ditch the movie, can you? Well, it's a good mug. How's your throat feeling? Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the movie trivia schmodown. <laughs> Introducing first. Representing Collider. With a record of one win, two defeats. Introducing Scary Perry Nemiroff and Jonathan the Vulture Voidko, Team Tough Beats! Well, what a delightful musical it is. entrance. Nice so thing. nobody's emerged no. through the curtain yet, and I'm growing concerned. I don't know. I Are mean, they in the building? Maybe not. It looks like they're just, they're kind of waiting. In the bathroom, I know perhaps. Very, very familiar music, and I know Perry Nemiroff very well, and she usually picks movies that she likes. Can't place this music. I know the music, I think. Is it Fox and the Hound? No, it is not. It's still very quiet. Yes, we will go back to set and achieve victory. This is the Billy Madison No team song. will take what the Tough Beats have built <laughs> unless it's Perry and JV. We're here to help you, Tough Beats. Get back a win today. You got to work real hard and stick it out for six degrees this game. Hey, look, yeah, Emma Fight is. Who's out? Oh, look at this! Oh, <laughs> almost collapsed! But when I fell over, I just broke my leg and got a hemorrhage in my head! <laughs> wow. There are obstacles in the way. I'm impressed. One of the more higher budget intros we've ever had. <laughs> Offer crack to the studio audience. Do you have any more gum? More gum? More gum? More gum? Do you have any more gum? Well done. Well done. I mean, look, uh, they you put, know what? Give them the win. They got it. Give I them mean, the win. It's going to be harder. Listen, they, they, at, at, if anything, if it was their last time ever, what what a way to, <laughs> to be introed in. What a way to ride out of town on the back of a drunken hobo clown. I mean, so now they are putting the challenge up to six degrees on whether or not they can top that entrance, or maybe they don't even want to. Who are knows? we doing movie trivia at some point today? Is that what this show is? I believe it was, but now the intro game is on, and will it be game, set, match, tough beats, or to six degrees? Have thumbs and special in store. And their opponents. With a record of one win, two defeats. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Brian Chandler and Stacy Howard, Team Six Degrees. Also, the crowd. There's Jay Washington in a Bane oh, mask. Oh, the Bane okay. mask. Look at him. Who's coming out next? Wait a minute. And he's walking over to Brian Chandler. Catwoman sitting on the table. Two already. Batman villains already. The two villains are there. And who's coming out next here? Now, wait a minute. Is, uh, oh wait. Oh, Poison Ivy is here. Poison Ivy wow. being escorted. Poison. Okay, now they're bringing out Poison Ivy as well. And in masks. look at this. This is, I mean, we talk about, I don't know if any other teams in the league besides these two are going to top this. Is a clown going to come through for them too? Oh, is she killing all of her friends? She's, oh no, she she's blew killed a kiss. Everybody. That's how she kills people. She just killed everyone. She murdered four humans in the studio here today. Yeah, she's kicked one of the nuts. Uh, Seem to be okay. They're yeah. living off. And Brianne Chandler taking her spot. Had woman taking center stage. Yeah, they're really embracing this villain. Thing. The, the like, great villainy, uh, Tough Beats trying to not look flustered. Did, so, does Tough Beats want to offer Six Degrees any candy? I no, feel like we'll see we how the match should, goes. you guys both look so uncomfortable right now. <laughs> oh, Perry. Perry. Perry's dropping shots. All right. See, I know Perry Nemroff. She is very competitive. Perry wants to win this match very badly. All right, here we go, guys. Round number one. It works like this. The competitors are going to get eight questions worth one point apiece. When asked, they are going to write their question down on the whiteboard. Competitors, please show the answer to the camera and say it at the same time when it is your time to answer. 15 seconds to answer. The JTE rule. Three times during the match, you can ask to repeat the question. 
Don't forget your challenge rule. If you don't like a particular thing and you think it should be turned another way, then you can challenge. A third judge will come out. If it is overturned, you keep the challenge. If it is not, you will lose your challenge. Mark, ready to go? You're damn right I am, Christian. All right, so, Brianne, Stacy, are you guys ready? Are ready. Yeah, All right. ready. Jonathan, Perry. <laughs> I think we're ready. Oh, yeah. yeah. Then let's get ready to smoke out. Woo. All right. Feel the heat coming off. We're ready. All right, That Mark. table right there. Your first question in round one, teams, comes from the world of comedy movies. In the 2006 film Click, who played Morty, the mysterious man who gives Adam Sandler a remote that can control time and space? Hmm. You ever see that movie? I saw a Click and was thoroughly amused. That's not true. I, I, enjoy, I like Kate Beckinsale. You're watching Big fan. Movie. Five. Big fan of her. Four. Three. Two. One. And pens down. Brienne. Was it Christopher Walken? That is correct. Jonathan. I've never seen it. I said Ad Asner. Incorrect. I like that Stacey. play. I said Christopher Walken. That's correct. Perry. I have Christopher Walken there as well. There you go. Perry. Hitting it. Perry hits for tough beats. Perry again. The clown loves it. The clown <laughs> loves it. All right. Here we go. Next category in a category of drama. What movie starring Don Cheadle depicts a hotel manager providing shelter to Tutsi refugees against the Hutu militant? Now, that is tough. Militia. So thank you. You had the hard work. I almost had you it. You missed the easy one. All right. So you guys need that again? Hopefully not. Nah. They nailed it. All yeah. right. Thanks. Okay. Let the audience give me crap for it. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. Jonathan. Hotel Rwanda. That's correct. Stacy. Hotel Rwanda. Correct. Perry. Hotel Rwanda. And Brianne. I spelled it wrong, but... Hotel Rwanda. Oh, that's fine. Okay, so there Close we go. Close enough four to three. accept. Four, <laughs> four to three. three. Four to three. Tough beats getting needing those points, but six degrees has not. <laughs> the uh, the clown horn, not a fan of the drama <laughs> point. <laughs> All right. We move on to the world of animation. These are movies that are drawn. What Disney villain has a penchant for furs, smokes incessantly, and hates dogs? Would that be... Uh, and this is not me. Uh, John, I used to be John a Roca, maybe? John Roca, I think, likes animals. He's getting a cat. I attack. think he hates people. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Stacy. Cruella de Vil. Correct. Perry. Cruella de Vil. Uh, Brienne. Cruella de Vil. That's correct. Jonathan. Cruella de Vil. There you go. All right. So All right. Nailing right. that one. Oh, <laughs> wow. 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 That That's fun. not going to get old anytime soon. Clown one bananas. <laughs> All right. In the category of action adventure, how many total Rambo films have been released in theaters? Is this true? Is John Roca getting a cat, or did you did you just tell me? No, that? I think that is actually true. He bought a cat. No, he's thinking about it, and He's I would I'd advise him not to. Yeah, well, <laughs> well, for the cat or for Roca? A little of both. Poor Five, kitty. Four, three, two, one. Pens down, and Perry Nimeroff. I am going with the number six. And that would be incorrect. Uh, Brienne. I'm going with four. That's correct. Oh. Jonathan. Four. That's correct. Oh, Stacy. Yeah. Three, I they was missed. Close. Okay, so Brianne Chandler right. right now is the only yeah. one who has not missed. Still. Missed movies, has not missed. Pitching a perfect game, and we move into 90s movies. Who starred opposite Mel Gibson as Jimmy Shaker, an NYPD detective turned kidnapper in the 1996 film Ransom? Jimmy Shaker sounds like an open mic comedy. Yeah, might have given away the ending of that movie a little bit. You did? Yeah. Huh. The question might be a little bit of a spoiler for anybody who's not yet seen the 1996 film Ransom. Five. Four. That's where Mel Gibson can sense what women are thinking. Three. No, it's a different <laughs> movie entirely. Two. One. Brienne. My dad. Hi, dad. Oh, incorrect. Oh, <laughs> hi, dad. I guess again, Ed Harris. Incorrect. Stacey. You love guessing Ed. Stacy. I also guessed Ed Harris. <laughs> <laughs> incorrect, Perry. Oh, I got nothing. I didn't remember. Wow. Can you give the right Looking answer? Looking for Luke. <laughs> <laughs> Lieutenant Dan, Gary Sinise. Oh. Yeah, all right. Lieutenant Gary Dan, Sinise. Dan, ice cream. Why didn't you ask who plays Lieutenant Dan then? That's yeah. That's true. Next category. <laughs> category of movie quotes. Movie quotes. And name the movie from the quote. Good morning. And in case I don't see you, good, mo good afternoon, good evening, and good night. What's your favorite Gary Sinise movie? I'm taking Forrest Gump off the table. I'm taking Forrest Gump yeah. off What's the table. What's your favorite Gary Sinise movie where he has operational legs? I don't have IMDb open. Five, four. You like the CSI he's in? Three, there are trucks on the road. Two, one, pens down. Jonathan. Caddyshack? That's definitely incorrect. Oh, Stacy. Mm. 
Uh, the Truman Show? That's correct. Ah, Perry. That's what I thought, and I didn't write it. And Brienne. The Truman Show. There oh, that's go. a big gas. Six degrees there, right. showing up strong. Gaping yeah. wound. The clown had to give respect and even honked for six degrees there. All right, Ooh. here we go. All right, we move on to romantic comedies. In the film Sweet Home Alabama, what does Jake sell in his shop? All right, so get this. Yeah. Reese Witherspoon, she lives in New York, right? But she's a country girl at heart. Guess what? She goes home, wouldn't you know it? She falls in love! <laughs> okay. Five. Zany! Four. Three. I didn't expect it. Two. One. Pens down. And Stacy. Um, there's a couple ways you can answer this. I said glass, but it's like dishes. It's like That's when the correct. lightning strikes. That's correct. Okay. You, you get the point either way. Perry. Okay, it's fine. Okay. <laughs> it's closer than I was. I wrote clothing. All right, Brienne. Glass. That's correct. John. I wrote fishing supplies. Wow, so there you go. 11. That's right. The That's answer is, is glass. He sold stewardesses. <laughs> he blows glass, which is better than blowing strangers. The last question in round <laughs> oh. one. <laughs> Sorry. Well, there goes the family. Out <laughs> so we're now six degrees. Here we go. Six degrees. It's 11 to six. And the question number eight. The category of horror slash thriller. <gasps> Who played Susie Toller in the 1998 thriller Wild Things along with Denise Richards and Matt Dillon? You know who else is in Wild Things that I forgot? Bill Murray. He totally is. Bill Murray cool. is He's hysterical. hysterical. Yeah, five. Four. Not the best reason to watch that. Three, movie. two, one. Perry Nemiroff. Nev Campbell. Correct. Brianne. Nev Campbell. Correct. Jonathan. Nev Campbell. Correct. Stacy. For the win, Nev Campbell. Oh, there you go. So 13-8, a five-point oh, right. lead here. Tough beats needed those last two. They, yeah. It's good thing they know Nev Campbell's catalog. Yeah, that's right. All right. <laughs> Round two is upon us, Christian. The way round two works is each team gets a spin at that there wheel. Once you settle on a category, you're going to get six questions based on that movie category. Each question is worth two points. If you're not sure of the answer, you can check to multiple choice, at which point the value of the question goes down to one point. If you don't like the category, you spin it first. You are awarded a mulligan, which is golfing terms for do-over. However, whatever you spin, you must accept that category. Keep in mind, competitors, there is stealing in round two. Yeah, 15 seconds to answer the question. And here we go. Tough Beats is down by five points. Five six big degrees. Points. Six degrees. Would you guys like to go first or second? First. We'll first. first. All right, Stacy, give it a big spin, please. Okay. All right. That's a poisonous spin. You know, they got to be looking for musicals here. Maybe, do we have romantic movies on there? Do we have uh, Van Damme films? 90s is what 90s, we spin. 90s. All right, six degrees. Do you guys like the category of the 90s? Was it a good decade for you? We're going to spin again. They're going to spin, spin again. again. There we going go. away from the right. 90s. They're going, no, no, give it, oh, there you go. Okay. You guys there you move go. it to a different All right. angle. All right. All right. There we go. There's a strategy here. There's a strategy. I okay. see it. They're, listen, they're listening to Brian Davis on the short oh. oh, so I don't want to knock it over. Oh, wow. Trying to fudge the wheel. Let's see what happens. It, it did, did not work. work. It did not work. The strategy, you cheat the the strategy did not work. Wow. Rule number one. Don't Doesn't listen, matter. Don't Doesn't listen matter. to Brian Davids. <laughs> All right, here we go. New releases. New releases. New releases. Okay. New releases. Okay. Yeah. Go. All, right. All right. Six degrees has to go with new releases. These are movies that have been newly released. All right, here we go. New releases. <laughs> Question number one. In 2016, Snowden, who played the lead role of Edward Snowden? Joseph Gordon-Levitt. There you go for two points. Wow. Yeah. Perfect unison. That's it. <laughs> nice That's phrasing. It. All right, in Sing Street, what song do the boys shoot their first music video for? The Riddle, Riddle of the, the Model. Wow. <laughs> Loving Street, yeah. great film. There you go. Tough beat, starting to rethink that opponent's choice selection. Question number three: In Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, who played the nefarious Percival Graves? Um, Colin Farrell. For two more points. Wow, thank God. Stacy Howard on a tear here. I have never I heard less name, confidence out of a know. correct answer before. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, question number four: What stand-up comedian? Voices Snowball the Bunny in The Secret oh. Life of Pets. Kevin Hart. Two more points. <laughs> nice, nice. All right. Yeah. Let's go, let's go. Question number, question number five. Who played Judah Ben-Hur in 2016's Ben-Hur? Jack oh, Huston. Oh, 
we'll, we'll, we'll we can accept Houston? that. We can Hustle. accept Houston? that. We'll take yeah. that. We'll take that. I'm going to challenge that. Hold on. That's his name. What's it's, how to pronounce it? It's not it? his name. It's Jack Houston. Huston Houston is spelled H U H U S T O N. I know how to spell it. Huston Houston, whatever. I'm going to challenge that. Absolutely not. No. She's challenging it. She's challenging it. All right. She's challenging it. All right. So we're going to go to a H U S T O N. I know how to spell it. All right, so the challenge has been reviewed and we are going to keep the answer as it is. Six degrees will get the points. And Tough Beats, I know it. Tough beats, Houston. Tough beats will lose their challenge here now. And there will be one more question for six degrees. All right, your final question. What was the subtitle of 2017's Underworld film? We'll do multiple choice. Is it A, Rise of the Lycans, B, Awakening, C, Blood Wars, D, Evolution? Can you, what's the year again? The uh, year's 2017. Uh, awakening. That's incorrect. Fuck. Can you repeat the answers? Yeah, Rise of the Lycans, Awakening, Blood Wars, Evolution. Five. No, it's definitely not. Uh, C. That's correct for one point. <laughs> big point. All right, so oh, yeah. big steal. But I'll tell you what, Six Degrees had an incredible round there. and for they, getting an opponent's choice, no less. And so Tough cool. Beats might have had a bad strategy because new releases is the strength of Perry Nemiroff's, and they chose it as the opponent's choice. I think they need a really strong round here. There might be an aversion knockout. They anymore. might need a spinner's choice to stay in the game. Jonathan Boyko, <laughs> at your leisure, spin that wheel. There's the spin. All right. Good spin there. Would a lot of twists last? and turns in this game already. They need a big round. They got Spinner's oh! choice! Oh! Wow. The wheel does Spinner's not want to see them go. Choice. But Christian, all the pressure now falls on Tough Beat because they, they have to select a category yeah. that they believe in. What? All right. What do Pixar? Pixar. All right. Pixar <laughs> movies. All right. Pixar movies. All Here we go. right. Your first question in the world of Pixar movies. What is the name? that is given to the bird-like creature in Up. That would be Kevin. That is correct. Two points. Perry Nemiroff. We need to talk about tough beats. Perry Nemiroff <laughs> trying to get them. They're still in range of being knocked out. Your next question. What does the abominable snowman offer to make for Mike and Sully in Monsters, Inc. after they've been banished? Snow cones. Perry Two Nemiroff points. Perry knows Nemiroff. her picks so up They're out of range. They're out of range right now. Going again, who voiced Sally the Porsche in the Pixar films Cars, Cars 2, and Cars 3? Bonnie Hunt. For two, two more, more points. points. Perry Nemiroff powering through this right now, getting them back. Somebody uh -oh. check Jonathan Boyko's pulse. No, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> we're good. In your next, your next question. In Wally, -E, the lonely robot learns about love by watching a live action clip of the song It Only Takes a Moment from what classic musical film? Hello, Dolly. Yeah. Hello, Dolly's correct. Wow, look at that. Tough Beats. You'll be looking at a perfect you, that's round two. Okay. So Tough Beats now has come back 23-17. Made it a ball game, if nothing else. You have two more questions in this category. The penultimate one is, in The Incredibles, Mr. Incredible hides behind a skeleton of a former superhero to avoid detection. Oh, that's What was the name of hard. that superhero? Oh, the name of the I superhero? Yeah, name of the superhero. Yeah, we got to do multiple choice. All right, your options are that's thus. Hard. Is it A, Blaze Stone, B, Downburst, C, Apogee, or D, Gazer Beam? D. One point. All right, there you go. So look, they have now oh, put themselves in position here. If they get either, if they can get two points, they're only three points down. Even if they get one point, four points down, and almost just knocked out completely. Still got us a ball game here. A lot of points being scored in round two. Your last question: From which Pixar franchise is this quote? Authority should derive from consent of the governed, not from the threat of force. Can we get a repeat on that? From which Pixar franchise is this quote from? Authority should derive from consent of the governed, not from the threat of force. 
The clown is silent. Five. Four. Multiple choice. Yeah. Is it A, Toy Story, B, Finding Nemo, C, Cars, or D, Monsters, Inc.? Five, four, three, D. That is incorrect. What Six was degrees. his answer, though? Uh, you're, we can't tell you what they answered. We can tell you the options one. again. The options are A, Toy Story, B, Finding Nemo, C, Cars, or D, Monsters, Inc.? Uh, a. That is correct. correct. It was said yeah, in Toy Story, Story yeah. Part 3. That is a, a huge, movie. that is a really big, big, big steal by Brienne there. That gives him a six-point lead when it almost was cut down to three. If I tell you going into this match that Team Six Degrees is going to spend opponent's choice and they're still going into round three up by six points, you would have had me cast out of this studio. They almost had a knockout for that, but Perry Nemiroff had the best uh, the best spin of her career, I think, with that That's one. right. Sure. Now All we right. move on to round three. Round three is where fates get decided. One of these teams has to head up the highway to Barstow for all of eternity. In round three, each one of the teams is going to give us a number, a series of numbers ranging from one to 20. You each give us three numbers. Those numbers correspond to a movie category up here at our question and answer desk. Uh, six degrees, you are in the lead. So you guys will pick the three numbers. Uh, six, 16, 16, 12. How did you know which numbers the other one was going to say? Same rank. <laughs> All right, now let's Six, awesome. 16, and 12. Tough, and now we get beats. the numbers from Tough Beats. Uh, 19. 13. And 7. Not as in sync as six degrees, but still right. three acceptable numbers. I will ask the questions to Tough Beats here. Tough Beats is trying to avoid avoid the TKO and also avoid being disbanded, Mark. That's and no right. longer being part Lona. of the slowdown. All right, so let's go. So for category number 19 is what they chose first. That would be the category of action adventure. Who's taking the two-pointer there? Oh, I'll do it. And now keep in mind, competitors, you cannot consult on the two or the three-pointer. Once you hit yeah. the five-pointer, you are allowed to talk to amongst them. All right, in the category of action adventure, how many total RoboCop films oh! have been released theatrically? Going to go three? Incorrect. The answer is four. Three from the original trilogy and one remake. Ugh, I so, wasn't thinking the remake. There That's you go. Right. So now Perry Nemiroff mm. is up. Perry Nemiroff. Okay. Jonathan didn't take time to think about that one. Might have cost him. So then you're going to go to category 13 here, which is the category of Oscar films. <laughs> Oscar films. All right, Perry Nemiroff. Six Degrees will win via TKO, and Tough Beats will be... Eliminated from the league. Who gets custody of the clown? Uh, <laughs> maybe six degrees. All right, so. We don't want him. We don't want him. <laughs> Perry, here you go. Okay. Martin Scorsese lost best director for Goodfellas to what famous actor turned director in 1991 for a 1990 film? I'm not sure, but I'm just going to say Clint Eastwood. And your winners! By way of technical knockout, oh Brienne Stacy, six degrees. Oh the answer was Kevin Costner. Dances Kevin with Costner, Wolves. Brienne and Stacy, they are they are patting them on the back. Some of the nicer villains you'll ever uh, meet. Yeah, patting on the back and Grizzly, yeah, giving a little dance. They have just eliminated, just absolutely eliminated this team six degrees from the league and just dance away into the night. Yeah, now, now, can I say something about Tough Beats, though? Yeah. Is it Tough Beats, such an exciting one they had when they came onto the scene, and that is not to be overlooked. Plus, Perry Nemiroff's near-perfect game, or at least perfect round, she knows her Pixar. If you ever come across Perry Nemiroff in some CD bar somewhere in the Midwest, do not challenge her in Pixar movies, you will lose. It's a sad day for a lot of people, though, too, because Tough Beats, when they entered the, the league last year, they came out in the storm, they knocked out Sam Levine and his partner Brad uh, from, uh, from Jeopardy. That's right. And everyone thought they, they were going to They beat a guy from Jeopardy. They won the faces, the baby faces of the year, and then they just had a rough, rough start here. And it has been Six Degrees, who has been the downfall of Tough Beats. And what happens next with Perry Nemiroff and Jonathan Boyko? Do they keep competing? We're going to hear from Emma Fife, who's talking to Six Degrees and the former team of Tough Beats.
What's up, Movie Trivia Schmodown fans? I am here with Brienne and Stacy and Jay Washington, the victorious Team Six Degrees. Why does it have to be victorious? It's more so victorious. We told you all what was gonna happen. It wasn't any shock that Six Degrees would cause Tough Beats to split up and break up. It's a tough loss for Tough Beats. I mean, I, no one's gonna no, argue. No, 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 no. Listen, round one, Brienne destroyed. Round two. Stacy demolished. They didn't even have to go to round three. Do you know what that means? I've said it before, and I will say it again. This is the future of the Schmodown, and now the ultimate Schmodown is right in our sights, ladies. That means it doesn't matter which team you bring up. The Schmoes DC Movie News. It does. The Lions did. Team action. The Patriots. It doesn't matter. Do you see? People can be eliminated like that. I am so tickled right now. I mean, Don't you see my excitement? I do see your excitement, and nobody's going to argue that Six Degrees didn't have a fantastic showing today, but... Guys, I'm going to need you to use better synonyms. It was amazing, victorious, glorious, outstanding. Now you can basically say that Perry Deveroff, Jonathan Voiko, tough beats have been dismissed. I mean, that's true, but people... there's nothing else to say, people... ladies. I'm going to have fun. I'll prep, but... I'll prep the celebration. But people love Perry and Jonathan. You guys, I mean, again, fantastic work today, but you did eliminate a team that that people really love here in the Schmodown. Do you guys feel any Well, remorse? maybe they should have studied a little bit harder so people could love them more. But unfortunately, that's how it works. I... You don't know your stuff, you're out of here. Guess I can't argue with that. Stacy. do you have anything to add? I mean, Perry tried to come after me today with a challenge. Huston, Houston, however you want to say it, I still knew the answer. That is fair. Stacy did even know how to spell it, which is yeah. more than I can say about people here in the Schmodown on a regular basis. So... I congratulations, six degrees. I'm I'm proud to see how far you've come, but I'm not sure about this this attitude shift that seems to have happened <laughs> here. Okay, well we'll be right back with uh, Team Tough Beats. And we are back with Perry and Jonathan, Team Tough Beats, who unfortunately did suffer a little bit of a tough loss mm. today. <laughs> Now, listen, Perry, I have to say I knew what you were thinking, choosing new releases yeah. when you guys spun opponent's choice, but it didn't quite work out in your favor. I backfired big time. I mean, never did I expect those to be as easy as they were, but, you know, so so it goes. I, you know, in hindsight, obviously, I would have chosen something different on the wheel. The mentality was that they would get some wrong and we would steal them because I know new releases very well, but they just happen to be really easy questions. Absolutely. And I mean, you did, I think, really redeem yourself with that Pixar category. That was very impressive. The Pixar one, that that felt pretty good. The Those last uh, few cha were challenging questions, though, especially that last one. I was, you know, I was kind of leaning towards that Toy Story 3 answer. But at the same time, it's it's hard with movie quotes for any any genre out there. Yeah, I understand. There's not your brain doesn't immediately go. Oh, there's a quote about government in Toy Story. <laughs> Jonathan, how are you feeling after the match here? You know what? It was a tough loss for tough beats um i'm not that happy i gotta be honest yeah. uh, i thought we were gonna do a lot better as a matter of fact it's a bitter pill to swallow that they beat us in singles and then they were the ones to send us on our way as a team um but uh i'm always looking to the future i'm mm -hmm. not giving up I, I know this one should not give up i'm so proud of her performance today i'm it was an honor to be her teammate and I think she's got a lot of promising, a huge promising future too. I think you guys both actually are very promising. You had a really strong start back in 2016 and you've just, you've had a tough year. So, so what is your plan going forward? Are you gonna go back to singles? Are you gonna be, dare I say it, looking for new teammates? <laughs> Oh, it's hard to think about looking for a new teammate because, you know, I'm mean, losing sucks and having a breakup sucks. But if it wasn't for this guy, I wouldn't be in Schmodown at all. He's the one that gave me the confidence to even start doing this kind of stuff. And it's been a really fun ride. So even though we are breaking up, I mean, the Tough Beats matches are some of my best memories at Collider. And he, he's going to go on. He's going to play singles and he's going to he's going to kill some competition there. I appreciate it. No, we are going to we are going to focus on our on our singles still and move forward with that. 
and uh, hopefully take these tough beat vibes and, and, and spread the love and grow into two new teams that are you know, have have that positivity and we can add more to the Schmodown. Well, everybody certainly still loves you here, Team Tough Beats, even if you guys are no longer a team. I'm sure that we'll continue to see fantastic things out of each of you guys individually in the future. And who knows, maybe if you go on and conquer the singles, a Tough Beats reunion could be in there somewhere way down the line. So uh, sorry once again about your <laughs> loss today. Mm -hmm. You should leave with your heads held high. We Wish you all the best. Thank you. We're sad to see you go. You. This, this was fun, though. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. And now back to you, Mark and Christian. Well, look, there you go. A lot of laughing and dancing and singing and celebrating. Frivolatory. I mean, you talk about villains. I mean, Jay Washington laughing his head off there. The fact that they've eliminated him. Now they're talking about the ultimate schmodown, about mm -hmm. going into the schmodown. And, and they're acting as if they've been champions for the last 10 years. That's right. Well, look, they got a big victory here today. Two great performances by the teams, both with the intro and the movie trivia knowledge. But it definitely went the way of six degrees. Their opponent's choice really came back to bite them. Yeah, and you heard about that. And Perry Nemiroff, she just talked a little bit about that challenge and how she wanted to play the, the, the challenge herself. They don't know what's next. They don't know what's going to happen. None of us humans do. And as you can see in the interview, they're bummed by it. Uh, they didn't like losing to the way that they did. I mean, again, six degrees all the way through in singles and in team had their number. That's right. Well, we don't have a crystal ball in front of us, but we can tell you guys for all the latest in the movie trivia Schmodown goings on, make sure you're on iTunes and you check out the Schmodown rundown and join the Facebook group, the movie trivia Schmodown. I am merely Mark Ellis. And don't forget about our buddy Ken Knapsack. Every, every Thursday on Facebook, you've got Inside Schmodown every Thursday, 2 p.m. on the Collider Facebook. Make sure you check out this man on Friday. Hi. He's going to be going up against Classy Clark Wolf, the return of Baby Carrots. It's going to happen. Make sure you check that out. July 4th, a team title match between the reigning champions, the Patriots, against the former champions, top 10. And then finally on July 7th, My birthday. the Collider Collision. Four big matches going down, including the triple threat match for the championship, the reigning champion, Mark Yodi Riley, defending his title against both Dan Merle and John Roca. That is Christian Harlop. Stop talking. All right, Josh McCuga, tell us about fantasy stats. What's up, movie trivia showdown fans? Josh McCuga here with the fantasy update <laughs> post the Tough Beats retirement match. Now, I came out with the Tough Beats, but they're gone. If you had them in your team, these are the last points they're ever going to score. It's going to be the last time to disappoint you here on the showdown. No, I've got a personal apology to send out to the team six degrees. I called, I called them middle point getters and they attacked me on Twitter. Now, when people attack you on Twitter, your first thought is to block them. But I didn't. And they came back and they scored a bunch of points in the fantasy matchup today. Dressed like Batman villains or people that had a lot of psycho problems back in their younger days. That's my the update on the fantasy. Six degrees is a team to fight with. They had a great second round, scored a bunch of points. Now, if you don't have them, you don't have them. You should trade for them or don't face them. What you can get out of Team Six Degrees is a hell of a run going towards the championship. We want to see some ladies compete for the championship because nobody wants to see them Patriots win no more. I'm the clown, Josh McCuga. I'll be here next week giving you all kinds of fantasy updates. That's terrible. Hey guys, if you like this video, click the thumbs up button. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. It'll help you stay up to date with everything we've got going on here at Collider.